Praise the Lord, prayer warriors. This your girl, Prophets Verna London. What it do, fam? What it do? Yeah, I see how I cut my hair all off, huh? It's gonna go back. I need to curl it. Praise the Lord. What's up, warriors? I came to encourage you, encourage you on today with a word of encouragement to love yourself. Don't depend on anybody else to love you. Love on you. Love on yourself. Put all your trust in God. Revamp your mind. Revamp the way that you are thinking. And it's going to take time. But take that time and invest in you. Invest in loving yourself. Invest in changing your mind. And the only way that you can do that <clears throat> is through the power of the Holy Ghost. The enemy trying to choke me up, so this must be going to be a powerful word. The only way that you can do that it's through the power of the Holy Ghost, the anointing, through God. You have to get to God. Build your relationship with God. Change your mind. Change the way that you think. Love yourself. Don't depend on your on a man, a woman, a boy, a girl, your child, your husband, your job. Love on you. In this very moment, in this very time, and right where you are, don't think about, oh, I'm trying to get here, oh, I'm trying to get there. Love on yourself right now in the moment where you are on the way to where you're going. See, we miss so many moments because we're trying to get to that thing that God is trying to take you through a strategy. He's teaching you things in the in-between time. Jesus. And you got to be careful when you, when you are starting to love on yourself. Because the enemy will try to send things your way to try to distract you, to try to trigger you. I experienced something myself. And I knew it was the enemy, so I know I'm not the only one feeling this way. He have that little, that little sneaky link. If you give him any kind of crack to get in, and he gonna and he he will try to distract you. He'll try to trigger you. He'll try to get you off your game plan. But you gotta come back and you got to adjust that crown. Don't give nobody. That type of power over you. To where as you, you just think that you can't love yourself. Or you can't do this. Or you can't do that. The devil is alive. Don't put all your trust in a man. A woman. A boy. A girl. Because when you do that. You give them your power. You giving them the authority. That they can have that power and that control and that manipulation over you. The devil is alive. Take your power back. Take your, 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 your dominion back. Take your control back. Don't give them control over you. And don't you try to control nobody else. Love on you. Even though we married in you in your marriage, you can't put all your trust in a man. You gotta put all your trust in God. Even when you start in a relationship. If you start out in a relationship and you make them think that, oh, I'm gonna put all my trust in this man. I, I put all my trust in you. I'm just gonna love on you. I'm gonna give you all my heart, my mind. It don't belong to him. All your trust, all your heart, all your mind, your body, your soul, it belongs to God. And that's for man or woman. 
if you give somebody all that type of power over you, they're going to continue to to take that power away from you to make you think that you can't make it without them. That's in friendships, relationships, kinship, whatever kind of ship. Because why? God did not design it to be that way. God designed it that we put all our trust in him. Not in the things in this world. Because that can't give you peace. That can't give you that relationship with God that you desire, that emptiness that you feel. That belongs to God. And we try to feel it with things and, 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 and tangible things and relationships. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And you give them that type of power over you, it keeps the power. Take your power back. Take your dominion back and love on yourself. And you say, well, how can I love on myself? Through the love of God. God can teach you how to love on yourself. He can teach you to have that peace of mind. Ain't nothing like a peace of mind. Ain't nothing like a peace of mind. Nothing can take the place of a peace of mind. And when you get that peace, enjoy your peace. Because the enemy comes to disturb that peace and get in any kind of crack and crevices he can. Enjoy your peace. Enjoy your serenity with God. God said he has given us the power in Luke 10 and 19 and Luke 10 and, and, and um, 17. It says the 70 return with joy saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. The demons are subject to you in the name of Jesus. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Even Lucifer was up there with God. But because he wanted to, to, to control God and what God was doing, he tried to take God's power. He tried to take his authority and God kicked him out. Why? Because it didn't belong to him. He saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Because he tried to outdo God. He tried to take God's power. He tried to take control over what God had. Why? But he couldn't take control because it didn't belong to him. Behold, I have give I behold I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. You have the power to trample on serpents and demons. But you have to get in that word. You have to connect to the power source, which is God, our Father, in the name of Jesus. If you give Satan that authority and that power and just let him in a little crack, he will try to steal your peace, your joy, your life, your soul. Because why? He loves misery. Misery loves com company. He miserable. He don't want to see you have joy and peace and love. But you have all the power. It's in you. It's in me. Because God has given us dominion in the earth realm. Not over each other. Over our livelihood, in our spaces, in our place, in our place in the earth. Take your power back. Love on you. Enjoy that peace. And then he say, nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you. But rather rejoice because 
Your names are written in heaven. Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Not that you have, that the spirits are subject to you. The spirits are subject to you. You can tell him, go back to the pits of hell where he come from. You can't have control over me. You can't have dominion over me. You can't have my power. You can't have my authority. I'm going to love on me. Not with society say, oh, you should look like this and you should look like that. You should dress like this. You should dress like that. That ain't even working no more. You could be shaped like an hourglass if you want to. But baby, these men is turning to the same sex. The women turn into the same sex. What do they tell you? We are living in the last days. If you don't learn how to love yourself, you will fall for anything. You will fall for the stuff that's abnormal. And you know it's abnormal. You, ain't, you don't have no business doing a certain stuff. Why? Because you done gave Satan that power over you to make you think, oh, this okay. I'm like this. You ain't even like that. But because you think it's the norm, because that door has been opened, that portal has been opened for anything goes, anything can be done. You could get out of a marriage and then you just start sleeping with women. You can get out of a marriage, you just start sleeping with men. That's demonic. You got children. But it's your choice. I'm not down in it. But if you open up that door, Satan coming right on in. And he going to take control over you, over your mind. You got to revamp your mind. You got to revamp the way that you thinking. Take your power back. Take your authority back over your own life. Not over nobody else like what nobody else doing, how they doing, she doing, we doing. No, what is God saying to you about your life? Love on you. Love every part of you, every curve, every whatever. And if you want to do, you work on you because you want to work on you. Not to please a man, not to please society, not to please what nobody else say about you, what they do. No, because you want to work on you. Love on you. Bring up your self-esteem. Your self your self and you can do that only with God. So I want to encourage you today to love on you with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. Love on the Lord Jesus Christ. And he going to lead you. He going to direct you. He going to share you. And he say nothing shall by any means hurt you because you have the power. You have the authority. But do you believe that? Do you love you? Do you love yourself? If you don't love you, how you going to love somebody else? Don't let nobody else pro project their negativity on you. Their thoughts on you or how you should look and how you should feel. Love on you. I dare you to love on you. Enjoy your peace. Ain't nothing like a peace of mind. Ain't nothing like a peace of mind. Ain't nothing like being free in your spirit. I walked outside the other day. And I just was looking around at all the trees and the, the nature, the atmosphere. It was so serene. Ah. It was like walking in the Garden of Eden. Ugh. The birds chirping and just the peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. Whoa. It was like none other. I never felt like that before. I say, God, it feel like I'm walking in the Garden of Eden. 
just peace. Yes, God. Ain't nothing like a peace of mind. And then I just walked out and then the wind just began to blow on me. A fresh wind. I say, God, I feel you now. Prepare me for my next move. Whoa, Jesus. The wind just was blowing on me. I say, my God. Ain't nothing like a peace of mind. Money can buy a lot of things, but it can't buy you peace. It can't buy a peace of mind. That's why it's so much mental breakdowns. Because people are dependent on the things in this world. This world is just, 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 it's ranchy. It's so ranchy. It's real, real ranchy. Baby, but God. This is the peace that you cannot buy. This is the love that you cannot buy, that you can find only in Jesus Christ. That peace is in Jesus. Your serenity is in Jesus. Your relationship is in Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And what I like about Jesus don't force himself on you. He don't try to control you and have power over you. He wants you to freely come to him so he can give you peace. He can give you confidence. He can shield you. He can protect you. He can speak to your mind, your body, your heart, your soul. But you got to begin to write the words of God on your heart. Just like my shirt say, Team Jesus. Love on you. So what if you gain weight? So what if you lost weight? So what if you're going through this and you're going through that? God can go through that with us. It don't be easy. That road be rocky. Sometimes it start out all rocky. It, it's rocky. It can be real, real rocky. But God can make the crooked road straight and give you peace surpasses your understanding when you ain't worried about yeah I need to do this with myself God will give you the peace to do it show you how to do it and you still have confidence in yourself don't let nobody steal your confidence because you're not they same color you're not they size your hair don't look like theirs you ain't natural you ain't relaxed you ain't skinny you too thick Booty too big, hair too long, hair too short. Remember Tosh Carl said that? Issues. My booty too big, booty too flat. Breast too big, best breast too little. My lips too big, lips too small. My hair too short, my hair too long. Issues. All because of what man say. What do you like about you? Love on you. Right where you at, even though you working on you. This flesh. Nothing good dwells in this flesh. Nothing good dwells in this flesh. No good thing dwells in this flesh. It's flesh. It stretches. It go to all shapes and sizes and muscles. And These men, some of them be so muscular. While well, I was looking at a thing where a man was so muscular, booty big in mind, firm, and gay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's his choice. But he ain't doing it for a wife. He doing it for the same sex. What is wrong with us? Love. And I'm not putting down on none of that. But I'm just saying, love on you. Love you. Love you more than your husband love you. Love you more than your wife love you, more than your children. Love yourself. 
Not to think that you all let, but love on you where you don't feel like, you know, you got low self-esteem. Oh, I can't go here. I can't go there because I don't look like them. I don't. The devil is a lie. You don't like the way I look? Don't look at me. You have to have the spirit of cutting it off. Cutting people off because they were a baby, misery, love company. And they will suck the life out of you. They will, them, they be some like some leeches. They will suck you dry so you ain't got nothing left. They will suck all the life, all the joy, all the laughter out of you. Tell you ain't got nothing left to give. The devil is a lie. And I want to encourage you to love on you. I want to encourage you to take your power back. Not to be uh, and, and be boastful in it. Or think like you more than somebody. But love on you. If you can't love yourself, how you going to love me? How you going to love God? Even if somebody is the same, how you going to still love on them? And you don't love yourself. Do you love yourself? Do us a heart check. Have you given all your power to your spouse, to your children, to your neighbors, to your friends, to your frenemies, to your church, and you ain't doing nothing for yourself? They dictating to you every part of your life down to how you should look, how you should smell, how you should dress, what you should wear, what you shouldn't wear. What have you opened up the door to that you need to close it right now? What don't you love about yourself? Find ways to love it. And yeah, I'm a plus size woman. And baby, I love me. I'm a beautiful black queen. And I dare anybody to tell me any different. Why? Because I'm going to love me. I'm going to fix myself up. I'm going to love me. I used to be natural. I don't like it. I want to be relaxed. Why? Because this is my business. And I ain't going back. I cut it all off. I don't like it. I don't like how I look. Make me look. It make me look old. I don't want to look old. I want to look like Verna. This how I want to look. Why? Because it's my choice and I love me. I'm doing this because I love me. Not because husband thinks so. I love me. And do I work on myself? Yeah, because I want to work on myself. People tell you, oh, you too little, you too this, you too that. I remember my mama, when my mama passed. They was going around, oh, she's so little. And I let that bother me. But I get to the point, I love Verna just the way God made me. You work on you. If you want to do this, do this, this, do it because you are loving you. You want to love on you. Because, baby, when I get ready to step, I step. And I'm going to be looking good stepping. And I'm going to be confident in Jesus. I ain't got time for foolishness. It's too much going on. I don't know when God is going to come back and get me. I'm so much worried about my flesh that I miss heaven. That I ain't loving on me. That I'm miserable. Uh-uh. My weight be up and down, up and down. I don't know why I work on it. And then I get out, I work on No. I ain't going to beat myself up. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on what I want to work on. And ask God to help me. 
while I work on it. Because, yeah, I love eating healthy. I love it. But sometimes I get tired of eating lettuce, tomato. I, sometimes I be want to eat what I want to eat. And I eat it. In moderation. Because guess what? Baby. Trying to eat healthy. If that's, it's, it's, that's expensive. The more God build me up, the more I can do things that I need to do. But I'm going to enjoy right where I'm at on the way to where I'm going. And I ain't going to let nobody make me feel bad about it. You don't like how I look? Don't look at me. Period. But I'm going to love me. You think I'm going to be depressed because you don't like how I look? No. I'm going to bust all laughing in your face. Because <laughs> guess what? I, I know how to play the dozens. I learned that in the park. You try to find something. I can find something on you to talk about you. And make you feel the same way. But I'm not I'm not going to do that because you couldn't handle it. And a lot of the stuff people could issue it out. But they can't take it. I, people, I love the baby. I'm a jokester. I love to laugh. I love the joke. But everybody can't handle it. They could eat shit out, but they can't handle it. So the point of it is not to be boastful or nothing like that. Love on you. Love yourself. People always, oh, they need that. What you need to be doing? Some people be shamed to go around people. Oh, because I'm not their color. Oh, my hair ain't right. Oh, I don't have this. Th Baby, you better get up and fix your crown and fix yourself up and love on you, every part of you. The only reason why I got the camera like this is not because I hadn't put on no clothes clothes. I got on some shorts and a t-shirt. But you know, baby. I don't play about the way I look. I like fixing myself up. I like for my hair to be done. And look nice and dress nice. But that's what Verna like to do. Love on you. Don't let nobody stop you from loving on you. Don't let nobody stop you from having a relationship with Christ. If you like earrings, wear them. If you don't like earrings, don't wear them. If you like to dress up, dress up. If you don't like it, dress cat. Do you. Be you. If you like relaxed hair, that's what you like. If you like natural hair, that's what you like. If you like being skinny mini, that's what you like. If you like being mini side, if you like being whatever, do you. Don't let nobody make you feel bad for being you or doing you. Because the truth to the fact is, nobody ain't got no room to talk about anybody. Because ain't nobody perfect. That's why so many mental issues. So many issues. So many issues. Everybody want to look alike. Be real. Be authentically you. Everybody looking alike. They put on all this makeup. They take it off. And the men be like. They don't even know that's your real you. Because you've been covering it up. You wear so much weed. They ain't never seen your real hair. You go get married. You ain't got no edges. You ain't got no hair. You just straight bald. And all the whole time they thought that was your hair, but it was weave or wig. They didn't know what was under there till they married you. You can't fool people like that. Do you have edges? Or you don't have no edges? What's up under there? Makeup. How you looking? Is that your real skin tone or is that just the makeup? Be you. 
I don't wear makeup. So this is my real skin color. I wear lip gloss. This is my real hair. This is my hair. These fake nails. But I could pull these off. But I don't have this is my real hair. This is my real color. My you know. I got contacts on, but my eyes is hazel. But I have contacts on now. These my cause you know I wear glasses, so my contacts is prescription contacts. So I just get the color ones because they prescriptions. But my husband get the real me. Not the fake me, the real me. We walk, we exercise. They been too hot now. But just like tomorrow, we gonna get out. Instead of sitting around eating barbecue or just sitting around, we gonna get out and we gonna go somewhere. And walk around, we gonna go to the zoo. And we gonna walk around. We ain't gonna sit around, we gonna get out and walk around. But exercise and have fun at the same time. Do you? Do you? I know I'm never going on vacation, but I ain't going on vacation this summer because I'm trying to get some stuff that from COVID. I'm trying to get some stuff straightened out. Why? Because I'm working on my necks. But I'm enjoying where I'm at. And on the way to where I'm going. I say about six months ago. Because stuff started falling, stuff God started changing things. He started shifting things. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna close my salon down. I ain't gonna even worry about it. I'm gonna close it. And this my I'm just telling this testimony. I'm gonna close up the shop and I'm gonna sell my building because the building still look new. Everything in there done been done. I said I'm gonna close it and just go ahead on and sell it. I went back there. Start cleaning up, getting ready to, to uh, sell stuff and mark stuff down. Seeing where I'm going to sell it, seeing where I'm going to sell it, getting ready to sell it, getting ready to clean it up. Guess what God said? Nope. Don't close your shop down. Predicate it on somebody else because they don't come no more. And you you know, some of it then slowed down and people then fell off because they feel this and this, 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 this and happen. I ain't got to get down to all that. He say, no, keep it open. You know, my son on right by my house, he say, it ain't time to sell. Don't close it down. So what if they don't come? I'm going to open up doors for you, and it's still going to work. Who going to come is going to who going to come. And who don't come? They don't come. But you cannot close it down. He told me no. And I went back there to go clean up. I was cleaning up, getting stuff ready. I was gonna sell it. I was gonna sell my little sell my building. And I had joy doing it. I wasn't sad or nothing. Oh, cause I'm ready for my neck, but it ain't time. Cause God's still working on me. He's still building me. He's still teaching me. Preparing me for my next move. It's like when I say I walked outside, I say, Lord, I feel you now. Prepare me for my next move. Prepare me for my next. It felt like I was walking in the Garden of Eden. You hear what I'm telling you? It was so much peace. I say, God, is this weird that I feel? That I feel? I mean, just peace. And I don't hang around anybody. It's me and my husband. I don't have no friends. I don't have nobody I'm close to. I don't have nobody I hang out with other than my husband. So much peace. So much joy and peace. But it's only God. And I'm talking about with my relationship with God, and I would meet with God. I went back there to go close that shop for about, probably about six months, four or five months ago, something like that. 
God say no. And I'm closing. And then he began to show me why. I say, okay, God. He said, don't worry about who done left. Let them leave. But you cannot close right now. So I'm still holding on to God tell me different. But I'm still seeking. I'm still seeking. He said, because you got to seek and you're going to find. I'm seeking. I'm watching. I'm, you know. But I'm waiting on God. But I ain't just sitting and waiting. I'm still moving and waiting. I'm still seeking and waiting. The enemy came to trigger me and try to steal it. Because we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and wickedness and high places. Try to trigger me, try to steal it, try to make me go off, try to make me say some things that I know I don't say. But I couldn't say because God had already warned me. The enemy want to trigger you. They want to see where you at. But God say not so. Why? Because when you confident and you love you, the enemy don't like that. And I'm going to get ready to get on off of here. But Lord, I ask you to cover this word with the blood of Jesus. Don't let it be no backlash. Don't let it be no retaliation and no transferring of spirits. Because you have given me the power to trample on serpents and demons and scorpions. And nothing by any means, anything by any means shall hurt me. Because you gave me the power over them spirits. Lord, you have given me the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall hurt me, Vernal. Nevertheless, I do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to me, but rather I rejoice that my name is written in heaven. So Satan ain't got no kind of power or authority over up in y'all. Because I'm covered by the blood. And I got peace in my King Jesus. And Lord, keep me with this peace. Because when he get ready to come for me, I want to be ready. No man know the day or the hour that the king shall return. But whenever he get ready to return, Vernon London want to be ready. I want to be ready to smile eye. And Lord, I want to love on you and I want to love me. And I love my husband too. But I love Jesus even the more. I put all my trust in God and not in a man. Because can't nobody do me like God. Love on yourself. Love on you. Like it's nobody's business. And do it humble with humility. Not to think that you are higher than anybody. But love on you. Love every curve. Love every complexion. Whether you straight, natural, or bald. Love on you. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> but get it. Love on you. Love on you. Be authentic authentically you unapologetically do it unapologetic unapologetically I don't know why I, can't, why I can't get that out be authentically you and do it unapologetically you don't have to apologize for being you and loving on you unapologetically I hope I'm saying it right be blessed